Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we do have an exciting uh, topic here for today, which is about AmpleNote. Uh, AmpleNote is a powerful note-taking application, uh, which is going to help you stay organized and boost your productivity, whether if you're a student, a professional, or just someone who loves to take notes. Uh, it's definitely going to get you covered in whatever field that you need this for. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, of course, is knowing a little bit about the uh, tool itself. Uh, and of course, AmpleNote is a note-taking app or tool designed to help you capture, organize, and retrieve information quite effectively. It's packed with a lot of features that's going to help you uh, to uh, take notes and make things uh, quite easy. And you can access AmpleNote on your computer, smartphone, or tablet which allows you to sync your notes across multiple devices seamlessly. So let's go ahead and check out uh, that tool itself or that app. So the first step that we're going to be taking is, of course, going to the website here, which is amplenote.com. Uh, you will end up in this website. Uh, and then after that, we'll, uh, you'll be able to see all the different things that uh, the, uh, the note taking app has uh, which has all these features that you can do uh, you can jot down uh, stuff uh, you can take notes uh, you can uh, create tasks as well as create a calendar uh, and uh, yeah you can use this for uh, so many different things as well uh, you can uh, do it for uh, planning things for uh, you can also embed videos as well as uh, pictures you can even do uh, uh, do this kind of um, planning for your uh, for your note-taking needs and you'll be able to publish and collaborate with other people as well so you can share um, your notes to others who you might uh, need to uh, communicate or collaborate with and as we mentioned earlier you can use this on many different platforms so uh, let's go ahead and start by uh, actually going to uh, log in, uh, which will take you to here. So you can sign in with your uh, email or with uh, Google as well as Apple. So let's go ahead and do that first. So once you log in, you will end up here, uh, which has all the uh, uh, daily jots here. Uh, this is the jots tab, which has uh, just the basic information of what you uh, can do on uh, this tool. This is the browser version, but you uh, you can also download this if you want to put it onto your uh, mobile devices as well. Uh, so here we can see uh, we can jot, capture, write, you note, organize, and revise, uh, tasks, plan, and prioritize, calendar, schedule, and complete. So we're going to go through all of that in a little bit. Uh, so here we can see we can move previous days and tasks and link to updates, and uh, you can do... Um, different things that's suggested for you here. Uh, you can even uh, peak viewer here, click the, the, this button. Uh, you can show or hide your peak viewer, uh, which is basically the notes in the sidebar uh, that you can, uh, you can drag your notes into this. So uh, speaking of notes, uh, you have this note tab on the left side here, which is underneath the uh, the jots. So here you can put your notes in. You can just click start new notes uh, if you want to jot down a new one. You can see here uh, this is what it looks like when you uh, write a note. You can have the title. You can change the font uh, and spacing and your basic basic um, your basic writing needs. Uh, you can even add pictures. Uh, you can block a quote. You can uh, have literal text. Uh, and you can add, uh, you can also add videos using this as well, and you can uh, add links. So your usual stuff. Um, and then on this next tab, which is the tasks, you can basically organize all of the tasks that you need to get done for the day or for the week or however long that you need it. So you can do all of that uh, if we open this here. Um, so it'll take us to the notes. So you can actually connect the notes that you have into your tasks. And then you can go back and forth depending on what you need to do for that day. 
And then the calendar is a, an overview of uh, basically all the projects or tasks that you need to uh, get done, which is great for organizing everything that you need to do. Uh, so you can even change the way that it looks here. So you can do a daily view, you can do, <clears throat> you can do a, a four day view, a week view, as well as a month view. So uh, for those who prefer having your tasks uh, in uh, like a daily increments or hourly increments, you can do that. Um, for me, I actually prefer having the more uh, monthly view here uh, since most of my tasks tend to be uh, more towards this uh, and uh, there's not much to it uh, the once you get to the um, calendar um, tab here you do also get to see the notes that you have uh, based on the notes uh, that you already have jotted down uh, so uh, both these uh, all of these tasks are intertwined with one another uh, and you can even have uh, shortcuts to your daily jots or other tools. So you can uh, click the uh, star here if you want to. Let's first, for example, go here. We can click uh, this and you can even publish notes here uh, on your notes. Uh, you can add your collaborators here as well just by clicking the uh, three dots. Uh, you can uh, delete the notes or uh, see more options here. You can download, duplicate, lock the notes so you don't accidentally delete it. You can archive it as well and pre prevent auto archiving as well as copy to email. Uh, and here you can add the add to shorts. So if you want to uh, add the notes to your shortcut so you can have a quick access, you just go to your notes, uh, click this here and then uh, more options and add to shortcuts. Um, and then for the tags, you can even ha have specific tags based on your uh, jots or notes so you can have references here as well to uh, kind of go back and forth based on your uh, notes that you have and then uh, for here you can add uh, you can add your to-do list uh, and uh, basically uh, yeah it's very simple it's it's not a lot uh, it's also um, very intuitive so that's kind of nice to have especially if you're uh, new to the note-taking um, apps here uh, and if you if you want to have more features uh, you can uh, at least compared to what you've had before and then you definitely will have all the things that you need here on ample note so that's basically it actually <laughs> there's not a lot to this app uh, it's it's pretty simple and uh, pretty intuitive uh, so you won't take too long in uh, getting used to the system so uh, it has uh, e it even has a powerful search functionality so you'll get to cross-reference different things uh, so that you'll never never lose track of your notes you can search specific keywords tags or even no titles so that you can quickly get to those specific notes that you want uh, which is very helpful especially once you have a lot of notes already uh, so yeah uh, that pretty much wraps up our tutorial on Ample Note. We've covered all the basics in creating uh, your notes as well as checking out all the different uh, uh, different tabs as well as tags that you can use uh, and you can even do cross-linking so you can organize all of your notes, your thoughts and uh, tasks uh, as well as if you are collaborating with other people so that you can integrate all of that to your workflow to make it more efficient. Uh, Ample Note, of course, is very robust in note taking as we can as we saw all the tools that we can use. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it, it, you will be able to go through all of your uh, note taking needs and, without ease. Uh, so definitely give it a try and let us know what you think. Uh, if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a like and uh, subscribe to our channel for more content like this. So if you have any questions or suggestions, of course, please leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.